Okay guys, we go. the putting green is uh, quiet, so I'll just show you how this works on the chipping. I've got 40 feet out there. Got to have the hips closed, shoulders closed, weight forward on the left leg but on the heel, right leg unloaded, we just push down. Okay, we fit that in about 18 inches. See how my shoulder line is closed guys, that's what we have to look at. Oh, that hit the hole and nearly went in. But they're very commercial, they're just little bunts. I'm not trying to do anything fancy. No cute stuff. Just trying to hit it towards the hole. And of course the system is fail safe, I'm never going to hit the ball fat. I'll always hit it clean or a little bit thin, which is good for this. So they've got the same personality guys and what you'll notice and you'll always notice with me because my nickname used to be Fearless JH and because all my chips and putts are always past the hole. I've just always been like that, it's just my personality. So we want to make sure that we hit it up to the hole and past the hole because we've got a chance of doing that. So it's basically the same process every time, but the club must stay low and it must release. You can't, anytime the club is coming up, it's changing the face angle on the delivery line. So we've got to keep it releasing down and through the ball. And of course those shots are not cute, they're very commercial. The good thing is that the ball will always be past the hole. It will always track. And you don't have to rely on spin as you would with a lofted club. If you've got a lofted golf club, hit it in the air, you've got to rely on spin. And even at our level, that's very hard to do. And when you don't have to go over anything, there's no point in hitting the ball in the air. It just doesn't make any sense to do that. So remember, just to revise, the, the four or five denominators are that we load the left leg, that we load the weight into the left heel, we unload the right leg, but we push the right knee towards the left knee. We put the sternum and the left pec in front of the golf ball. I want to feel that my nose is actually in front of the golf ball. I don't want to set up with my head weight and my chest weight behind the golf ball because that's where the bottom of the arc is and that means that if that's behind the golf ball at address, I have a propensity to hit the ball fat. So I don't want to do that. So I want to set the sternum and this left pack in front of the golf ball. I've got to do that's we want they want the bottom of the swing arc in front of the golf ball on the chips and the pitches. So that's all it is, guys. And to be fail safe, you just have to run those numbers. So the first one is left leg weight into the heel, uh, right leg unloaded, right knee forward. Uh, left pack in front of the ball, or an easier way is think that your nose is in front of the ball low left shoulder so that as we hit the ball the club is going down and down and down and the left shoulder staying down that's what we want to make sure. make sure the left shoulder is down and we're lateralizing a little bit we're going to hit a little shot this way the weight's forward and we'll just push it this way that left shoulder stays low we don't want the left shoulder up it stays low stays low. Okay guys that's basically it. Those other three or four tapes will give you a, uh, an inroad to start with but that's basically the chipping as opposed to the pitching.